In the ever-evolving world of web development, choosing the right tech stack is crucial. This statement isn't just a buzzword-laden cliché, it's the absolute truth. The tech stack you choose is like the foundation of a house. If it's not right, no matter how beautiful the design, the house will crumble. Similarly, your tech stack forms the base upon which your web development project stands. Now, you might be wondering what exactly does the right tech stack mean? Is it the most expensive one? Or the one with the most features? Well, the answer is neither. The right tech stack is the one that best fulfills your specific needs and goals. It's the one that allows your project to function efficiently, scale easily, and most importantly, meet the needs of your users. Let's talk about efficiency. A suitable tech stack enables developers to work faster and more effectively. It provides tools and technologies that simplify complex tasks, thereby reducing the time and effort required to develop and maintain the project. It's like having a well-equipped toolbox. It makes the job easier and more enjoyable. But efficiency is just one aspect. Scalability is another crucial factor. As your web project grows, your tech stack should be able to grow with it. It should be flexible and adaptable, allowing for the addition of new features and accommodating increasing user traffic without compromising performance. Now, let's not forget about the business side of things. A good tech stack is one that helps you realize your business goals. It should be cost-effective, have a strong community support for troubleshooting and be future-proof to keep up with the ever-changing tech landscape. Finally, and most importantly, the right tech stack is one that meets user needs. After all, the ultimate goal of any web development project is to provide a seamless, satisfying user experience. Your tech stack should be able to deliver high-performance security and a user-friendly interface. So, it's clear that the right tech stack can make or break your web development project. The importance of choosing wisely cannot be overstated. In the following scenes, we'll delve deeper into the anatomy of a tech stack and discuss some popular models in web development. Stay tuned. But what exactly is a tech stack? Let's break it down. Simply put, a tech stack is the combination of software tools and technologies used to build and run a web application. It's like the ingredients in your favorite dish, each playing a specific role to create the complete masterpiece. Now, a tech stack is generally divided into two key components, the front end and the back end. The front end, also known as the client side, is what you interact with. It's all about the user experience, the design, the look and feel of a website or application. On the flip side, we've got the back end, often referred to as the server side. This is where the magic happens behind the scenes. It handles the business logic, data management, server configuration, and more. Each component has its own set of tools and technologies. Understanding these components is the first step towards selecting the right tech stack. Now let's dive into the world of front-end tech stacks. Front-end technologies are the building blocks of the user interface. They're what we interact with when we visit a website. The main players here are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is the skeleton providing the structure of a web page. CSS is the skin, giving it a look and feel. JavaScript is the muscle, adding functionality and interactivity. Among these, JavaScript has many popular frameworks that have become industry standards. Take React for instance, developed by Facebook. It's popular for its virtual DOM feature, which makes websites more efficient and faster. However, it does have a steep learning curve and isn't always the best option for simple websites. Angular, another heavyweight, hails from the house of Google. It's a comprehensive framework supporting both mobile and desktop applications. But, it can be overkill for small projects and the complex syntax can be challenging for beginners. Then, there's Vue. It's lightweight, easy to learn, and integrates well with other libraries. But, its smaller community can mean fewer resources when you run into problems. Each of these technologies has its strengths and weaknesses. The right choice depends on the project requirements, team expertise, and future scalability. Remember, it's not about choosing the most popular technology, but the one that fits your project best. These technologies form the face of your web application, so choose wisely. Moving on to the backbone of your web application, the back-end tech stack. The back-end is where the magic happens. It's where data is stored, manipulated, and sent back to the front-end. Now, let's dive into some of the top back-end technologies. First up is Python, a high-level general-purpose programming language. It's loved for its simplicity and readability, making it a go-to choice for beginners and seasoned developers alike. Django, a Python-based framework, is widely used for building robust web applications. 
It's known for its batteries included philosophy, meaning it provides all the tools you need out of the box. Next, we have Java. It's been around for a while and has stood the test of time. It's versatile, platform independent, and has a vast ecosystem. Spring, a Java-based framework, is popular for building enterprise-grade applications. It's known for its flexibility and scalability. Then there's Node.js, a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 engine. It's ideal for building fast and scalable network applications. Express, a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework, is favored for its speed and simplicity. Each of these technologies has its strengths and weaknesses. Python and Django are great for simplicity and speed, but might not be the best for heavy computational tasks. Java and Spring are excellent for large-scale applications but can be overwhelming for beginners. Node.js and Express are fast and flexible but might not be ideal for CPU-intensive tasks. Remember, a robust backend ensures smooth operation of your web application. There are several established tech stack models that developers swear by. And today we're going to dig into some of the most popular ones, Mean, Mern, and Lamp. Let's kick things off with Mean, an acronym for MongoDB, ExpressJs, AngularJs, and Node.js. This JavaScript-based tech stack is a go-to for many developers due to its single language use, making it easier to switch between client and server side. It's a great fit for web applications that require real-time updates like instant messaging or gaming apps. On the flip side, AngularJs, part of the mean stack, has a steep learning curve which can be a challenge for beginners. Next, we have Mern, which swaps out Angular JJs for React JJs while keeping the other components of Mean. With a more flexible structure and a simpler learning curve, Mern is often preferred for applications that require a highly interactive user interface. But bear in mind, React JJs isn't the best choice for SEO-focused websites, as search engines may have trouble reading JavaScript-heavy content. Then there's the LAMP stack, short for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. This model has been around for quite some time and is known for its reliability and performance. It's a solid choice for data-driven websites like e-commerce platforms. However, PHP, part of the LAMP stack, is often criticized for its lack of consistency and modernity compared to newer languages. These three models are just the tip of the iceberg. There's also Django, Ruby on Rails, and many more. Each of these tech stacks has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the best one for your project will depend on many factors such as the project size, performance requirements, and the expertise of your team. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all in tech stacks. It's all about finding the right tools for the job. Choosing a tech stack model that suits your project requirements can save you a lot of time and resources. So, take your time, do your research, and choose wisely. Let's summarize what we've learned today. A tech stack is not just a bunch of technologies thrown together, but a carefully selected combination of software tools and programming languages, each playing a vital role in web development. We've discussed front-end and back-end tech stacks, the two pillars of web development. The front-end or client side is all about the user interface and user experience. It's where HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, along with their libraries and frameworks like React or Angular, come into play. On the other hand, the back-end or server side is the brain behind the operation, it's where data is processed, stored, and served. Here, technologies like Node.js, Ruby on Rails, or Python's Django framework shine. But a tech stack's choice goes beyond just picking the popular or trendy technologies. It's about choosing the right tools that are best suited for your project's specific requirements. The tech stack should be scalable, efficient, and robust enough to handle the project's needs as it grows and evolves. Moreover, understanding popular tech stack models like Mean, Mern, or LAMP can provide a solid starting point. These models are proven and widely used offering a blend of technologies that work well together. However, remember these are not one-size-fits-all solutions. They should serve as a guide, but not limit your choices. In the grand scheme of things, the selection of a tech stack can make or break your web development project. It influences how quickly you can bring your project to life, how well it performs, and how easy it is to maintain and scale. So take your time, do your research, consider your project's needs, and understand the strengths and weaknesses of each technology before making a decision. Remember, the right tech stack is the foundation of a successful web development project. So choose wisely and develop wisely. Develop, 